Hi guys, Rajesh here. Pretty here. Uh, today we are going to do some back bending. We'll be strengthening our back muscles and uh, stretching our front body. So let's start. Vande Guru Nam Charana Ravinde Sandar Shita Swatma Sukha Vabodhe Nishreya Se Jangalika Yamane Samsar Hala Hala Moha Shantye Abahu Purushat Karam Shankha Chakra Siddharanam Sahasra Shir Samshwetam Pranamami Patanjali start with a warm up hands on the hip hips shoulders in the same line and start rotating your neck clockwise and anti clockwise this is the time you start connecting with your body so do it slowly slower the movement the more information you get from that movement so make sure and whenever you feel that you are holding some kind of stress in the neck make sure that you pause and be there for some time release that stretch and start in the other direction now anti clockwise we'll do five times again make sure that you are not moving the shoulder only head is moving with the help of your neck around it Okay now we'll continue with spinal wave This is a very important movement to learn articulation of spine and uh, it is going to help you with uh, flexibility as well as strength developing strength in the spine and the intention of this exercise is to learn to move articulate move one disc at a time so tuck your chin to throat and then start as if you are rolling the mat and when you are getting up then imagine that your spine is an engine and spine is a train and head is the engine of it so the way you will move your head your each and every disc is going to follow your head all right i hope i'm clear okay let's continue So as Priti said imagine it's a, like a wave right the like waves of the sea now let's do the other way around so start from your hips uh, and come up from your head so when you are going down from your hips first take the hips back arch your back and go one disc at a time down and when you reach down then you round your back and then slowly come up so very important the wave form is important don't just go down and come up you know like uh, you do used to do your pt pt in schools right <clears throat> it has to be very wavy and should look uh, you should be able to understand how your spinal cord is rounding and stretching it's very very important yeah that's the whole soul point of this exercise to understand how your spine and torso can move in sync right yeah So now let's do the next exercise next warm up the hand rotations So here you start raising your hand and then you will feel the point of restriction there you have to slightly now turn the hand and continue with the rotation So rotate like this become aware what this hand rotation is doing to your shoulder joint try and engage the muscles closer to the shoulders more than uh, the extremities of your hand and because this uh, warm up is more about the shoulder and less about what you are doing with your hand okay so again we will do 10 times clockwise and 10 times anti clockwise all right 
so now let's start the anti clockwise oh no sorry it's the left hand so 2 3 4 whenever you are uh, doing this exercise also try to feel around your back so your uh, the the back of your shoulder so the when you're this is a warm up so you're opening your shoulder also yeah so you have to see that with every rotation try to see if your range of motion is increasing or at least you are challenging your, your range of motion another important point here to uh, that you need to consider is that you are not moving the shoulder backward and not taking the shoulder backward when you are taking your hand back right so your shoulders need to be in the same line okay so that is one point another is do not force yourself uh to achieve better range of motion than you have today please respect the limitation because these are warm ups so it should feel like you are opening up the body without forcing um anything on your body these movement should feel my teacher used to say that these movement should feel like a massage hope you've already started sweating and yeah one more thing uh, turn off your fans if you have done that turn off your acs your body needs heat yeah very important so you have to you, you otherwise you'll cool down while doing the warm ups and another thing that really helps with a very quick warm up is taking a shower before your exercise right rajesh yeah now we will start with both hands at a time uh in especially in this one there are chances that you will arch your back without noticing of course but please do not do that um keep uh, keep it isolated to only shoulder movement uh keeping the spine in a neutral line you will also observe that um the range of motion is reduced and that's okay focus on your uh on your shoulders and the back side of the shoulder when you're doing this so that uh, you know you'll try to you'll try to understand the range of motion now we'll open the hips try balancing on your legs ideally you should balance but if you're not able to balance then hold a chair or hold side of the wall yeah and try to uh, rotate So here the movement will be initiated from your knee. So try to keep your knees in 90 degrees and isolate your hip flexor and the glute joints so that so that uh, you know you get that hip opening feeling. Here we are trying to move the leg around the hip. So make sure that you don't move the hip. Okay it's like ball and socket movement isolate your hip and move the leg around it again we are following the same thing that you are moving the leg in clockwise and anti clockwise if you do it slowly you will understand how your hip flexors are working how your hip extensors are working at the same time you are getting to work on uh, inner and outer thigh Okay now comes the knee. So keep your knee static and rotate the leg that the part that comes after knee around the knee and that is the golden rule of warming up any joint. The joint that you are trying to warm up will be static and the body part after it is going to cover the whole range of motion around the joint. I hope I'm not getting too technical. <laughs> the the whole point is that only keep the joint moving. <laughs> Apart from the joint your body should be should not move. Yeah. Articulate focus on only the joint. The objective is to loosen it, warm it up yeah. so that you will be able to load it when we start our yoga exercises. So this year we are warming up our ankle joints. 
now let's get into a table top this to warm up your wrist because we are going to practice uh, chaturanga and it's very important and i feel wrist is um quite ignored joint that we don't really consider even warming up but very important so um occupy as much as as much space as you can with your fingers means fingers wide open and press the wrist the palm whole palm including your fingers press them very hard on the floor and move your shoulders back and forth again i am turning my palm backward where my fingers are facing me again the same rule keep your fingers wide open press the base of your wrist press the base of your finger and the tip of your fingers and here move backward in order to stretch your wrist move around 8 to 10 times and now the back of the palm should be to the floor again open your fingers and this is a very tricky movement many of you might not even able to straighten the elbow here and that's completely okay please respect your limits and just try to straighten your elbow but those of you who can straighten the elbow try and move back and forth a little bit so the uh, warm ups are done and let us start the workouts now today's exercise is focused on the back so lie down keep your hands along the side of your body raise your chest up hands up and legs up and hold this position keep the whole back body squeezed engaged 6 5 4 3 2 1 Ten and slowly release. Take ten seconds break. Let's do the second set. Lie on your stomach. Hands besides your hips, and we'll get into the pose. Lift. lift your hands and chest keep your arms active chest active breathe normally 5678 and drop drop slowly don't just bump yourself against the floor Take a ten second break. We are going to do one more set. System. That's why we don't want to miss. Don't we don't want you to miss out on that and do one more set. Yes. Raise your torso. raise your legs hands keep your back squeezed 4 five 6 7 8 9 10 done slowly release Okay the next exercise is a body drill it's not a yoga position so lie down on your stomach your arms over the head on the floor your palm facing each other and lift lift your shoulder head and the arms all together 4 5 six keep the legs pressed on the floor eight nine feel your upper back and chest in this exercise 10 and 
take 10 seconds break let's do the second set get into position straight straighten your hands and we'll start going up ready 1 2 strengthen your back muscles activate them and ensure that it's not only your hand should not go up let the whole body be in sync so let your shoulders back arms everything go up 7 8 9 10 keep your hands straight 9 and last one 10 drop take a 10 second break the next exercise is again a body weight drill and again very personal favorite lie down on your stomach now you're going to lift the arms up like previous exercise and squeeze the elbow close to your body lift the arm and squeeze the elbow as if you are pulling something and then down three squeeze the back muscles while you are pulling the elbow four lift up squeeze five lift up squeeze Six. Maintain the activation. Seven. Eight. Don't give up. Two more to go. Lift up. Squeeze. Nine. Straighten the arm. Release. One more time. And release. Done. Take ten seconds break. Let's start the next set. Get into position. One squeeze down, up squeeze two down, up squeeze three down, up squeeze four down. When you are squeezing, try to imagine that you are doing a pull up. so your back muscles should be you should you should feel your scapula and your uh, upper back okay up squeeze eight down up squeeze nine down one more up squeeze 10 drop hope you enjoyed it take a 10 second break So I made this body weight drill for you to get better at cobra pose and for this lie down on the floor and here try to take as less support from your hand as possible and lift your head up squeeze the shoulder blades to each other start lifting the chest and slowly slow down and let go we will do 10 of these nice and slow 4 5 not compromising anything about the form 7 last one but the best one 10 and release
प्लीज टेक टेन सेकेंड्स ब्रेक we will get into full cobra now in a body drill type format so get into the pose and uh, we have to only do one additional thing which is you have to come to a mini cobra like we did in the last video and then once you reach your limits start using the strength of your uh, upper body to straighten the arm so let us start this come up 1 down 2 down come down slowly 3 inhale slowly come down while coming down also keep your back extremely active four inhale come up only once you reach your limit with your back strength only then use your arm strength too five down six slowly come up down you can keep your toes curled in up 7 down up 8 when you're coming down ensure that back is not rounded come up 9 slow and steady i know the back is burning one last best repetition come up and slowly drop 10 let's take a 10 second break as a teacher i have observed that beginners had a uh, very often face um the trouble to get into the pose that's why i have this habit of breaking down the yoga poses and uh, come up with a drill format and that's what we have done for this setu bandhasan as well lie down keep your knee bent press the whole foot to the floor and squeeze your glutes to raise your hips we will do 10 counts 2 3 pressing the foot squeezing the glute 4 stretching the quad at the same time 5 6 7 nice and slow feeling the muscles 7 8 then this is a surprise for you hold it here to feel the extra burn 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 really close your eyes breathe in and out deeply let air flow through every nook and corner of your body relax every muscle 
every joint keep a very calm face no frowns relax focus on your breathing see how every breath in is rejuvenating your body and relaxing ask yourself what is your definition of fitness your definition of fitness should de- depend on what you want to achieve it should be different to everybody fitness level of an athlete of a marathoner of a worker of a techie may be different fitness should be such that you should be do whatever you want to do in life if you want to climb the everest your fitness level will be different but if you want to be extremely active throughout your day and that's sufficient for you then that is your level of fitness you only need to challenge yourself and improve your fitness level every day so that you are able to do many other things which probably you are not able to do today this is upgrading lifestyle so look at fitness as a tool to upgrade your lifestyle but again don't compare your fitness levels with anybody else only see that you are better than yourself better than what you were yesterday deeply breathe in exhale now bring your awareness back to the body and slowly move your toes move fingers turn to your right side take your own time to get back to a comfortable sitting position now join your hands for closing prayer स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य परिपालयता न्याय मगे न महिम महिषा गोब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्त निोका समस्त सुखिनो शांति 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 can put them on your face put them on your put eyes on, yeah feel fresh strengthening and working on back is little difficult than forward fold so if you are not feeling the muscle support the activation you will eventually hope you enjoyed the session we'll see you next time